What's good, YouTube? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Charging the Trainer here. Man, fresh and warm, looking really bummy. Beard's all fucked up and everything, so excuse me. But we are officially five days out, y'all. <laughs> this is going to throw me off. But we are officially five days out. San Antonio NPC Extravaganza is this Saturday, September 23rd. I actually mentally have been up since 4 a.m. just thinking about the show and everything. Kind of just laying, staring in the dark, finally waiting for my alarm to go off. Uh, so now I'm about to go get some faster cardio in, and then I'll be back with my first meal, train a couple clients, and get the rest of the day going for prep. See y'all soon. some fun on peak week right start the morning off on peak week flat top sorry though we got a spare we keep this shit rolling just another piece of the day so y'all so ain't gonna lie having to change this tire this morning should not be fun as shit ever it's not the worst you know morning because luckily i got a spare and I go to the tire shop, they'll yeah, hook me right up. My only issue is, like, y'all y'all probably don't know this. I look like such a nice guy, but I am a nice guy. But I just have some of these fucking craziest exes. And one of my exes tried to, like, pop out my back tire back there, like, last week. So my only issue is, like, damn, is this her, like, fucking with my tires or is this a tire issue like i don't want to go get a brand new tire put on here and then she comes back like tonight and fucking pops my shit for it. but let's hope not let's hope she's not that crazy and this is just waking up to a weird flat for some reason <sighs> all right y'all so, turns out, it actually wasn't my ex. Thank God. Uh, if she's watching this, sorry for putting me out there like that. But it wasn't any of my exes. It was just a leak. Uh, what uh, I got some in my bag, yeah? You need some? Okay. Okay, hey, I got some. No, I got you. Oh yeah, so I'm not gonna have some cardio when I'm waiting on my clients. Pretty much in the treadmill. Nothing too serious. Steep week, uh, and I've been hitting the cardio kind of hard, honestly. So I'm doing some light, so I'm getting my heart rate up, get some sweat going, push some water out, do the do. But yeah, thank God though I got this to take care of pretty quick. I'm sorry, I keep looking at her. She has some nice ones on. Let's get this cardio. Alright, I just stopped to set a little piece. Got to finish up my cardio. Speed this shit up. So I'll probably record a couple of clips of me and my clients. But yeah, hit y'all later. Let you see what I mean for my meal one. Tell me. Tell me. Good, good. Oh yeah, just finished cardio. First meal of the day. 
eight ounces of grilled chicken, a cup of uh, spinach and lettuce, and that's it. So that'll be my first meal. That's not your client count. Why eat? Let's get it, y'all. Tell me. Tell me. No, I was just asking, so you just finished the workout, I'm on prep, I just wanted to know what is it like working with me while I'm on prep? Be honest. I, it's like, be serious, right? It's a matter of feeding off the mm -hmm. energy. It's a matter of this is what it looks like if you're really about this life. Um, and that energy kind of pours over, right? Eat what you're supposed to eat come in here, do what you're supposed to do, push yourself through the set, you know, prioritize your rest, prioritize your meals. So I would say the difference between you not in prep and being in prep and me working with you is the seriousness, the amount of seriousness that it's taken, the closer that you get to the stage. It just kind of rubs off. It's like, okay, we're coming in, we're being quiet today, we're pushing through the workout, that's what we're doing. That's what it feels like. You know? No, you well, see it every day. Lucas, no, I ain't got to say, you see it every day with me. Quit fucking playing. Let's go. You fucking playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm breathing, nigga. I can't breathe. You know, you don't be doing it. You that's already it. tell him he's sassy. He is sassy. Breathe, sassy. nigga. Breathe. Don't fuck up. You quit fucking playing. That's the difference in prep, off. right? Like, you're either going to talk back or you're not going to talk back. <laughs> That's the difference, right? You're gonna push through the workout and talk back or get kicked out. Yep. Listen, I'm gonna do the workout, but I'm still gonna stick out here and I have something to say. Five more, five more. Nigga, fuck y'all, just did 10. Nigga, I can't breathe. Well, they love five me, more. Y'all can't breathe. We do. It's, it's, hey, we love it. We're a team. We, we right. push together, die together. But we ride I, together, I we die together. Time, Bad boys for life. <laughs> Many hours later. All right, guys. One of the crucial parts of peak week, getting ready for prep, is the mani pedi. Now, guys, guys, don't do the mani pedi stuff. Not getting color or anything, just clear polish. And the reason why is when you get your tan, you want to have clear polish so your fingernails don't get stained. You know, the tan to get on the polish and you can just wipe it off. Plus, it is relaxing. I get the high stone, you know, put you in water. Just kind of relax before the show. You've worked hard for 12 weeks, 16 weeks, however long you've done. Relax a little bit. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna get that done. <laughs> Got to check in with my mill three or oh, two, yeah. The mill two was seven ounces of fish and about four or five ounces of asparagus. No, I'm lying, of a zucchini. Of zucchini, this meal here is um, seven ounces of turkey and then another like four ounces of asparagus with a little mustard on it. Just regular zero calorie mustard. You know what I noticed, y'all? The closer you get to your show, a lot of bodybuilders start to eat with their hands. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's quicker, easier. Maybe we're just fucking hungry. We don't give a fuck. But 
We shouldn't start eating with our hands. And I think it's hilarious. All right, guys. So we had a couple of technical difficulties. So we're going to do a quick voiceover. But every prep, I think it's cool as fuck that the king of the jungle, Tarzan, must go to the castle. Metro Flex, the castle in Fort Worth. Just, I just love the concept. My first coach was there. Uh, so I always get a workout in all my preps at the castle. And before we get to the workout, shout out Wise Up Apparel. Got me looking fly from the hat to the shirt to the shorts, even the socks, man. Dripped out to the ones. But let's get this workout, y'all. 